Hey guys, so it's been a pretty quick transition. 42 degrees out right now. It's supposed to get into the high 50s today, even break 60. A very beautiful morning. Uh, the fishery has probably changed dramatically uh, in the last five, six days. I think now we are properly in true fall fishing. We're gonna fish the inshore structure today. Just see what's doing. No real specific plan or strategy. Just making the most of our weather opportunity and uh tomorrow we'll probably head back into the ocean is what i'm thinking baits we have we obviously have our artificials with us today uh today we have blue crabs too uh right now they're about a dollar a piece this time of year so really inexpensive really easy to, easy to handle if you leave them on ice overnight or if it's in the 30s or low 40s overnight they're pretty much docile so i'm just gonna as i get over to my fishing grounds i'm gonna cut these up into quarters get them ready into bait size chunks and if it's a lousy day of fishing, you come home and you eat your bait. So it's not that bad of a trade-off, I guess. Not a hot start, man. Really not hot. One bit. Not one bit. Try the jerk bait again. I feel like I should get a bump or two on this thing somewhere here. Jerk bait fish there. What's this? First fish. Speckled trout, okay. Not surprised, honestly. I think I kind of located a few then, that means. This guy's just uh, around 14 and a half, 15, so I think we'll uh, play it safe. Had some technical difficulties here. All right. Nothing wrong with a fried trout or two. These are the prevailing size, uh, usually in the fall. In the colder weather, they're a lot easier to uh, keep fresh and not turn to mush. Summer heat, I don't really target them for that reason. They just get too mushy too easily. All right, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Not feeling the speckled trout too much at the moment. Uh, let's see what the sheep's head and drum situation's like. On here, and here, we're gonna put 40 pound leader. Should find both red and black drum right now. Probably more black drum than reds. I'm gonna try uh, a couple of these jigs with some bigger hooks, five aughts. One ounces or five O's. I think those should work pretty well for me. Probably quarter them down. You can go into threes even. For sheep's head, three's not always a bad idea either. A little bit of an eddy here. Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess they're in the deep today. Looks like we're gonna have a deep water bite, that's for sure. It's good. we got there red drum nice one uh, wasn't sure what this would bring coming out to the deep water wow really nice looking fish too uh, gonna put this fish back that's an overslot fish for sure 
Took a quarter blue crab. Beauty. Really beautiful one. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. That's a big fish. I guess that's a red. Like being out in the open when there's no traffic that's gonna kill me. Nice red. Beautiful drum right there. Bigger than the first one, too. Oh man, what a beautiful fish right here. Low 30 incher. Sometimes these smaller ones fight a lot harder than the big Johns, huh? Okay. Pretty blue tail, chrome color. Okay, let's get you out of here. Nice cool water. This fish take off just fine. Something different. It's a much slower fish. Uh, oh, oh, oh. The, the other drum. First one of the day. It's an average one for here. Stripeless. This one's probably like a three year old fish. The other crab eater. One socket out the other. You know, I dropped some crab parts here, so I kind of commit myself to one little area, if you ask me. I think, you know, a couple of drum would come in here and sniff around eating crab legs and arms and whatever, claws. Back up. That's the big John right there. Feels pretty big. That could be a red. I'm gonna find out though. Okay, that's good. Good thing for a drum to do is go out in the open. Another red. Fun fall fishing, huh? I take it we might be on the tail end of this. It's a nice fall pumpkin right there. A little pumpkin picking, right? Pretty fish. All right, man. I like these bigger hooks with the blue crabs, man. It's the first time I really fish with the the bigger hooks and the... So I usually fish those smaller mud crabs. Bigger hooks with the blue crabs seems to work out better. I don't miss as many fish. Drum. Feels like it. Yeah.
Okay, he means business. Gets another black drum for me. Definitely a better one for sure. Oh, this one's good. That's a real one. Well, I mean, almost a real one, but it's definitely a sizable one. A blue crab chunk. This one's probably. 25, 26 incher. Definitely a better one than the last bunch. Overslot. Well, I had to keep one overslot, but you know, honestly, I just like the little ones. 14, 14 to 18 inches. It's a fun day. This is kind of how the inshore fishing is. Good quality fish. Should have black drum through most of the fall. Reds can come and go in a little more scarce numbers for sure. And sheep's had probably the whole month of November, so it's not a bad day to fish. Not a bad way to fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Red drum. Going with a red. Maybe it's a black drum though. See when this current picks up, the game changes, son. Game changes when the current mo starts moving a different way. Red. drum pink is the color for the day and they're not bad size man single jigs you don't go hook them on these jigs there's no way for the most part they're just kind of feeling them around their mouths that's it these are pretty decent size man pretty decent might have missed my sheep's head window though. It's the only thing that's going on right here. This current's ripping. Yeah, I think I missed that window. Try to find a couple spots here that aren't that crazy fast. A lot of black drum, man. Beating on the drums today. Alrighty. Seems like they're everywhere today, man. Doesn't matter where you are. Peace. All right, I'm gonna wrap this one up. That was kind of like a quick little fun trip. Put an average size sheep's head and a speckled trout in the cooler. That's really all I need, so. Great bite. Uh, I use those little jigs. I just find them easier to manage uh, on a kayak because I'm not anchored up. I'm always kind of free drifting. We're very slowly drifting. Um, so I don't have to worry about a egg sinker spinning around down there. That's a Pen Clash 3000 I have on there. I've got 30 pound uh, spider wire X8 and uh, I used a 40 pound leader for the most part couple of speckled trout. That speckled trout fishing is just going to get better. And yeah, I'm just enjoying uh, first uh, 
It was cold this morning, man. <laughs> I was really thinking, I was really thinking how dumb of an idea it was for me to even head out uh, most of this morning, but the bite turned out to be pretty decent. So uh, I guess back in the ocean tomorrow, I think out in the ocean, we've got a little more options. There's affiliate links in the video's description, of everything we used today. Uh, today was a blue crab kind of day. Should have a busy November ahead. So let's see what tomorrow does. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I had a good time. I do love the cold weather North Carolina fishing. I do like it a lot. Um, it's very peaceful. It's really nice this time of year. So, uh, all right. Well, I'll catch up with you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.